Ah. Is this stop tour? You a vlogger? Yeah. We do a discount for you. How much is it? Sit you in the front seat. Uh, how much is it? 35 euros with tickets included to the sites. You do a four stop tour, pillars, caves, monkeys, views of the north side. One hour 30 service you pay when you finish at the end of a trip. On the cable car, you pay 38 euros with your tickets included, but you have to do it all by foot. It's a nine kilometer train, up and down the river. Alright, so we're doing a, a guided minibus tour now, because it looks like a better deal. So we'll see the battery, the apes, the cave and the pillars of Hercules and it's only one pound more and it means if it rains we can still do it. Mm. Where are you guys from by the way? Uh, England, Sweden. Okay so guys I'm going to be speaking in English and Spanish okay? Um... I can take my phone now. Okay. Guys, welcome to Gibraltar. First time here? First time. Yeah. Okay. Vale, voy a estar hablando en inglés y español, ¿vale? Empiezo con el inglés más rápido, luego lo comento en español, ¿vale? Okay. Okay, guys, here in Gibraltar we have a population of 32,000 people and that is without counting the monkeys. <laughs> counting the monkeys were 32,300, okay? There's 300 apes in total. The population of monkeys has actually grown up a bit. We've never had so many before, but we try to keep them at 300 level, yeah? Otherwise, they become a nuisance, they become naughty. Here we get to speak two languages, that's English and Spanish. We get taught English in schools and we normally talk English at work. However, between friends and families, we talk in Spanish. Now, it's not pure Spanish what we speak, it's not Castellano. What we do amongst ourselves a lot is that we mix a bit of English in between and some people say we talk Spanglish. Spanglish. As you know, Gibraltar is actually a peninsula. We are attached to Spain, but this does not mean we are Spanish. In fact, we are British now for the past 315 years and let will give you a brief explanation about the history of that, okay? Right now guys, we're gonna make a five minute stop whilst I purchase your nature reserve tickets. You guys can get down of the car, go to the viewpoint where we normally see the views of Africa, straight up to Gibraltar, take a few pictures and we carry on, okay? Okay. Sure. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Vale, eh, aquí somos una población de 32.000 habitantes y eso sin contar a los monos. <laughs> Contando los monos somos 32.300, hay 300 monos en Gibraltar. La población de monos ha crecido un poquillo, nunca habíamos tenido tantos, pero tratamos de mantenerlos en 300, ¿vale? Si no se nos desmadran. Aquí hablan dos lenguas, inglés y español, los enseñan el inglés en el colegio, normalmente hablamos inglés en el trabajo, entre amigos y familiares hablamos español. Ahora no es puro español lo que hablamos, no es castellano, lo que hacemos mucho entre nosotros es que mezclamos mucho el inglés por medio, mucha gente dice que hablamos Spanglish. Como sabéis, el libertad es una península, estamos unidos a España, pero no somos españoles, somos británicos para hace ya 315 años. Luego les explicaré algo sobre el tema que él, ¿vale? Ahora mismo, ahora mismo vamos a hacer una pequeña parada de 5 minutos, mientras yo saco los tickets vuestros para la reserva, o podéis bajar del coche e ir hacia el mirador, donde normalmente vemos la vista de África. No sé cómo van a estar las vistas hoy, normalmente están buenas. Sí se ve África. Vemos la vista de África, eh, tomamos un par de fotos, luego continuamos, ¿vale? <coughs> Gibraltar, the area is quite small, guys, it's 2.6 square miles, however, the highest point of the rock is 426 meters. <coughs> Are you from London? Uh, near the south, near Brighton. Oh, Brighton. Right. Yeah. yeah. España? ¿Cómo? Pueden morder, sí. No se pueden tocar. Eh, la póliza del mono es que ellos te pueden tocar a ti, tú a ellos no, si no te muerden. Sí. ¿De qué parte de España sois, jefe? Extremadura. Málaga. Málaga, muy bien. Vale, el guys see that mountain there? That's ¿Sí? North Africa. Uh. That's Morocco, 24 kilometers away from Gibraltar, 15 miles approximately, you've got Tangiers. Sí. Then you've got Ceuta, and this is the other end, which you're going to see now, Ceuta. Mm. Then oh, you've got, that's, so that's cool. the way into the Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean is that way, and all that there is Spain, España. Just beyond this mountain, you've got the most southern tip of Europe, I geographically, which is Tarifa. Tarifa, Spain. Wow, it seems so close. Tarifa, which is an hour away from Gibraltar. 
On this side, guys, we normally see Ceuta. Ceuta is peninsula with Africa. However, Ceuta belongs to Spain. It's oh, Spanish. Oh, yeah, okay. Vale, aquí enfrente, Norte de África, Marruecos, 24 kilómetros de Gibraltar, 15 millas aproximadamente, está Tánger. Luego está Ceuta en este otro lado que vais a ver ahora. Ese es el camino es el Atlántico para allá. Todo eso de ahí es España. Detrás de esta montaña de aquí está el punto más sur de Europa geográficamente que es Tarifa. Tarifa que está a una hora de Gibraltar. En este lado normalmente se ve Ceuta. Ceuta es península con África, pero le pertenece a España. Ahora Tarifa... Eh... Perdón, Ceuta. Eh, tarifa... Es el punto más sur de Europa geográficamente, mientras Gibraltar es el punto más sur de Europa estratégicamente. Luego les comentaré algo sobre aquello. You can see Ceuta there, look. Ahí podéis ver Ceuta. Ah, oh, yeah. Guys, five minutes, take a few pictures, come back, we carry on, yeah? Cinco okay. minutos, okay. un par de fotos, volvéis, continuamos. Oh, here we go. It's pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. And this way we get a guide explaining yeah, what history. everything is. So the Pillars of Hercules. To the ancient world, Gibraltar was known as Mons Calpe. Mm -hmm. Legendary pillars created by Hercules. Just to hate. Mons Calpe. The end of the known world. Wow. So that's literally Africa right there. Yeah, that's Africa. Wow. It's the closest I've ever been to it. You took selfie. Yeah. So I take it on let's take it on this one quickly first. Yeah. value tour it's only 30 pounds and you get guided round and if it rains you still get the tour the modern world London Washington so it's like the middle point then. yeah it looks like it's the middle of well I suppose any point could be the middle of, of the world depending <laughs> on where you it's got a Might be more. I, that was in 2017. That okay. that was done. Okay. So that's Tanger, and that's. Okay, guys. Uh, all this is Spain, and that's a port of Algeciras. That's where you get the ferries, like that one coming out. To go to Tangiers, Morocco, Africa. That's where you also get the container ships with containers to supply the majority of Europe, okay? That is in fact one of the most important ports in Spain, the port of Algeciras, which is only half an hour away from Gibraltar. You guys know why so many ships in the Bay of Gibraltar? There's so many ships because before they continue with the journey into the Atlantic, which is that way, they stop here to refuel. Remember, they don't pay taxes here for petrol, it's cheaper, yeah? So they wow. refuel. Some of the ships take advantage that we also have a small airport, so they also change crew members, then they continue with the journey, okay? Okay. Para todo eso es España, es el puerto de Algeciras, es un puerto muy importante, es donde cogen los ferries, para, los, los ferries como ese, que van para Tánger, Marruecos, África, y es un puerto también donde cogen los barcos con contenedores para suministrar la mayor parte de Europa. Uno de los puertos muy importantes de España, el puerto de Algeciras, que está solamente a media hora de Gibraltar. ¿Sabes por qué hay muchos barcos en la bahía? Hay muchos barcos porque antes de continuar con su viaje por el Atlántico que hace allá, paran aquí para repostar gasolina y gasoil. Acordaos que no pagan impuestos de más barato, entonces repostan gasolina y gasoil. Hay algunos barcos que también se aprovechan de que tenemos un aeropuerto pequeño, entonces también cambian de tripulación, luego continúan con su viaje. ¿Veis la janilla esta en la muralla? ¿Ves estas rings en las paredes aquí, chicos? Estas rings son... ¿Sabes lo que estas rings son útiles? No. Estas rings son todo sobre la roca. Estas rings son útiles cuando el tide se va. We tie the ships onto them. No. That's not good. <laughs> But some people believe it. Right? <laughs>
<laughs> no, it's because in the olden days when Gibraltar was at war, we only had a few cannons here. You know cannons, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So these cannons were moved from one side of the rock onto another by use of pulleys and ropes. And like that, the enemy thought we had cannons all over the rock and they were always the same when used, okay? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Y las anillas esas, ¿no? Las anillas esas son utilizadas para cuando suba la marea, amarramos los barcos ahí. Sí. Es mentira, pero mucha gente se lo cree, ¿eh? No, yo, yo. Especialmente los de Málaga. No, 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 no. no, son utilizados porque antiguamente cuando Gibraltar estaba en guerra, solo había aquí unos poquitos de cañones. Entonces estos cañones se movían de un lado de la roca hacia la otra con ayuda de cuerdas y poleas. Así el enemigo creía que había cañones por todos los lados de la roca y siempre era lo mismo utilizado. Esto es, lo que, esto es lo que llamamos el balcón de la reina, lo llamamos el balcón de la reina porque aquí es donde se asomó ella en el año 1954 para ver la bahía de Gibraltar. ¿Qué es lo que vio de aquí? No lo sabemos, pero ya no vino más, entonces no creo que le gustó mucho lo que vio de aquí. This is what uh, the Bay of Gibraltar, guys, then you got the harbor. The harbor is within the three modes. You've got the south mode, the detached mode in the center, and the north mode on the far side. Uh, obviously there's been some reclaiming land from the sea going on around on this side of the rock however we cannot reclaim land any further out than the three moles okay otherwise we would get in trouble with the Spanish due to territorial waters having said that guys in the other side of the rock there is gonna be some more reclaiming land in the future which I will explain from the top later because we can see better okay Vale, ahora vamos a la cueva de San Miguel, acordado de esto, lo voy a dejar lo más cerca posible de la entrada, tenéis 15 a 20 minutos dentro de la cueva, es todo un sistema de recorrido muy importante que ahora con el tiempo limitado porque tenemos los coches de trampo andando todo el camino, ¿vale? 15 a 20 minutos cuando salgáis yo os estaré esperando a la salida, estos son los tickets vuestros, lo que hacen con los tickets ahora es que te los quitan, te los sellan y te los devuelven, luego os, os podéis quedar con él como souvenir. Si es que vieran algunos macacos, monos aquí arriba, ahora no se le caso los monos aquí, porque luego vamos a ver los monos arriba del todo. Yo les explicaré algo sobre la cueva, los monos luego. Lo único que necesitáis saber ahora mismo de los monos es no tocarlo por Dios porque pueden morder, ¿vale? Guys, we're gonna go to the caves now. I'm gonna drop you off as close as possible to the entrance. You guys got 15, 20 minutes inside the caves. It's all a one-way system. When you guys come out, I'll be waiting for you guys at the exit, okay? okay These are your tickets. What they do with your tickets now is that they take it off you, they stamp it and they give it back. Then you can keep them as a souvenir. Okay. Um, if you happen to see any monkeys up here now, guys, don't pay much attention to them here, because later on we're going to see them at the very top. Okay. I will explain something about the caves and the monkeys later. All you really need to know about the monkeys right now, guys, is don't touch them because it can be nasty, okay? <laughs> okay. Uno para cada uno, los dos pequeños no necesitan ticket, ¿vale? Guys, see the, ca the cabin up there? Yeah. It's so a micro oh, yeah. cabin. Just next to the cabin, there's a gate. That's your entrance to the caves. Okay. When you guys come out of the caves down here, the first thing you're going to see in front of you are some steps. Walk up the steps, pass the souvenir shop, and you come out up here. I'll be waiting for you guys up here, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay. Enjoy the caves. Vale, aquí arriba, ves la verja? Es la entrada de la cueva. Cuando salgas aquí abajo, lo primero que vas a ver delante de ustedes es una escalera. Subí la escalera, pasar en la tienda de souvenir, y salís aquí arriba. All right, so, into the caves now. Into the caves. So this is the gate, this is the entrance to the cave. Mm -hmm. okay. 